friends, I am Jasra from the School of Computer Engineering, Kalinga Institute of Industrial Technology. And I hope that you have enjoyed my previous lecture video, which was about the fundamentals of computer networks. And in this lecture video, we will be discussing about the network topology. It is really important for us to understand the various networking concepts where the network topologies play a very important role. Then we will also be discussing about the local area networks, the metropolitan area networks and the wide area networks. And finally, we will also be discussing about the most commonly asked question that is what exactly is the difference between the routers, switches and hubs. So let us get started. So let us understand what is a network topology. A network topology is the way a network is arranged, including the physical or logical description of how links and nodes are set up to relate to each other. It is basically of two types, logical topology and physical topology. Where a physical topology means how the devices connect with each other. And in the logical topology, it describes how data flow from one computer to another. Also, it ensures optimal flow control that can be regulated within the network. Now there are four basic topologies that we are going to study in this lecture. Mesh topology, star topology, bus topology and ring topology. In the mesh topology, each and every device has a dedicated point to point link to every other device, which allows it for most transmission to be distributed even if one of the connections goes down. Therefore, if the total number of devices in the network is n, this means the total number of link per device is n minus 1 and total number of links within the network will be n into n minus 1. In our example, if there are four devices, which means each device has at least three links. In the mesh topology, the use of dedicated links guarantees that each connection can carry its own data load while reducing the traffic problems. And also it has the advantage of privacy or security since every message travels along a dedicated line where only the address recipient can see it. The mesh topology requires bulk wiring, which may need greater than the available space, such as walls, ceilings or floors to accommodate, which also makes it quite difficult and expensive to install and configure. In a star topology, Every host is connected to a central device such as hubs or switches. In this, the devices are not directly linked to one another, unlike a mesh topology. A star topology does not allow the direct traffic between the devices. In this point to point connection, the hub acts as an exchange point. For example, if one device wants to send data to another, it sends the data to the hub which then broadcast the data to all the other devices connected with it. However, only the intended device will accept the data. In case of a switch, the data instead of broadcasting, it is unicasted and it's sent only to the intended device. It is only possible because the switches learn the MAC addresses of the devices connected to it. Star topology is quite advantageous as it requires very less cabling and each device needs only one link and one input output port to connect to other devices. And also if one link fails, only one link is affected. It also has some disadvantages since all the devices are connected to the central controlling device such as hub. So if the hub fails, the whole system will go down. Also, the devices in the network is limited to the number of input output ports in the hub. In the ring topology, each device has a dedicated point to point connection with the only two devices on the other side of it. The data travels from the node to node with each node along the way handling every packet. The main advantage of ring topology is that it is very easy to install and reconfigure. Also, it requires very less cabling. And then since the data moves in one direction, 
there are very less chances of data collision and the fault isolation is very simplified in this topology. While signal is passed along the ring in one direction from device to device until it reaches its destination, a ring topology can be slow with the transmission in case of a large number of nodes in the ring. Also, a single fault in the system can break down the whole network. Now, in the bus topology, nodes are connected to the bus cable which is also called as a backbone and this backbone connects the nodes by drop lines and taps. A drop line is a connection running between the device and the main cable through a tap. In this topology, if one device wants to send data to another device, then all the devices connected with the shared backbone will also receive the data and this means the data is broadcasted. However, the data is only accepted by the device to whom it was addressed and the rest will discard it. If we compare bus topology with the mesh topology, it is quite easy to install and it requires very less cabling. However, for the addition of nodes, an increase in the length of the cable decreases the strength of these signals and increases the chance of data collision. Also, a fault or break in the bus cable stops all transmission even between devices on the same side of the problem. Finally, the hybrid topology. It is a collection of two or more topologies which are scalable and can be expanded easily. For example, we can have a main star topology with each branch connecting several stations in a bus topology. Now, let us discuss our second topic that is LAN, MAN and WAN. A local area network, LAN, is usually privately owned and links the devices within a single office or building. LANs are usually designed to allow resources that is to be shared between personal computers or workstations. Whereas a metropolitan area network, MAN, is a larger network than a local area network. It often covers multiple cities or towns. It usually spans several buildings in the same city or town. Now, a wide area network, WAN, is a large network of information that is not tied to a single location. WANs can facilitate communication, the sharing of information, and much more between devices from around the world through a WAN provider. So friends, these are the basic differences between the local area network, metropolitan area network, and a wide area network. To focus on, we can check the data transfer rate and LAN is much higher as compared to the metropolitan area network and the wide area network. So friends, in our third topic, let us discuss about the most common question among us. That is, what is the exact difference between the hub, router and a switch? So friends, as discussed earlier, a hub is a physical layer networking device which is used to connect multiple devices in the network and the bandwidth sharing is equal where it creates unnecessary traffic because of the incoming bit is replicated for all the devices in the network. Whereas a switch does the same thing what a hub does but in a more efficient way. A switch is considered to be an intelligent device since it learns the MAC addresses of the devices connected to it and the incoming bit is transferred to the intended device directly. And finally, routers are the devices which connect local area networks and wide area networks together and have a dynamically updating routing tables based on what they make decision to forward or route the data packets. And finally, here is a cool fact about today's lecture. The internet is controlled by 75 million servers and the backbone of internet is made by almost five and a half lakh miles of underwater cable. So friends, I hope I was able to make you grab the objectives of today's lecture. Please go through the summary of today's lecture. Also, you may like to follow 
the below reference book to go through in detail.